Welcome space enthusiasts to a journey through the cosmos, where we explore the various types of stars that illuminate our universe. These celestial bodies scattered across the vast expanse of space are not just beautiful to behold, but are fundamental to the very life and workings of our universe. Stars in all their luminous glory go through a remarkable life cycle, a cosmic ballet of birth, evolution, and death. This journey begins with the collapse of molecular clouds forming the early stages of a star known as protostars. Through a process of nuclear fusion, these protostars evolve into main sequence stars, the mature stage of a star's life. But the universe is far from monotonous. It presents us with a cornucopia of star types, each with unique characteristics and life cycles. From the common and long-lived red dwarfs, through to the transformative red giants and the massive supergiants that end their lives in spectacular supernovae. And let's not forget the enigmatic white dwarfs, neutron stars, and the mysterious black holes, the remnants of high mass stars. Prepare to embark on this stellar journey as we start from the very beginning, the birth of a star. Our journey begins with the birth of a star known as a protostar. In the vast cosmic expanse, a spectacle of celestial evolution unfolds where molecular clouds, composed predominantly of hydrogen and helium, play a pivotal role. These clouds aren't just random blobs of gas floating around the universe, but they are the very cradles of star formation. As these molecular clouds collapse under their own gravity, a process spurred by factors like a nearby supernova or the collision of galaxies, a dense, hot core begins to form. This is the infancy of a star. The core grows hotter and denser, and around it a swirling disk of dust and gas forms, a sort of cosmic whirlpool, the birthplace of a protostar. In the heart of this tumultuous environment, the protostar continues to evolve. It's a bit like watching a child grow, but on a cosmic time scale. As the protostar matures, it goes through several stages, each marked by different physical characteristics and behaviors. In the first stage, the protostar is still gathering mass from the surrounding cloud, growing larger and hotter. This stage may last for several hundred thousand years. As it continues to evolve, the protostar shrinks and heats up, its internal pressure increasing. This process continues until the core is hot enough to start nuclear fusion, the process that fuels a star's energy. The second stage sees the protostar shedding its outer layers and revealing the hot, glowing core within. This is a tumultuous period in the life of a protostar akin to the awkward teenage years of human development. The final stage of protostar evolution is the most dramatic. The protostar has now become a pre-main sequence star. Its core temperature and pressure are high enough to start the fusion of hydrogen into helium. This is the moment when a star is truly born. Once the protostar reaches a certain temperature and density, it ignites to become a main sequence star. This is the point where our solar journey really begins, with the birth of a star, a beacon of light in the darkness of space. From a humble protostar to a stellar giant, each star's journey is a testament to the fascinating dynamics of our universe. Among the main sequence stars, red dwarfs stand out as the most common type. Now this might surprise you. With all the dazzling stars that embellish the velvet black canvas of the universe, why are these relatively small, cooler stars the most abundant? Well, it's all about the balance of size and stamina. Red dwarfs, also known as M dwarfs, are smaller than our sun, generally only about one-tenth to one-half its size. Their color, as the name suggests, leans towards the red end of the spectrum, indicating a lower surface temperature compared to hotter blue or white stars. But don't let their modest stature fool you. These stars are the long-distance runners of the cosmos. Due to their small size, the nuclear fusion processes within their cores happen at a much slower pace, allowing them to conserve their hydrogen fuel over a longer period. This enables red dwarfs to have impressively long lifespans with estimates ranging from tens of billions to trillions of years. Let's put that into perspective. Our universe itself is only around 14 billion years old. So in theory, no red dwarf has ever died from old age since the dawn of the universe and they will continue to shine for eons to come. This incredible endurance is what makes red dwarfs the most common type of star in the cosmos. But there's more. Despite being somewhat diminutive, red dwarfs are also known for their frequent flare-ups releasing powerful bursts of energy. These flares can be so intense that they often outshine the star itself. 
So while they might not be the most glamorous stars in the celestial sphere, red dwarfs have an undeniable charm. They're the quiet, unassuming heroes of the cosmos, twinkling away steadily and reliably. Their longevity and abundance make them fascinating subjects for astronomers, and their frequent flares keep us on our toes, reminding us of the dynamism of the universe. Despite their small size and cool temperature, red dwarfs play a crucial role in the cosmos. They are the persistent, ever-glowing embers in the grand celestial hearth, silently composing the symphony of the universe. As stars age, they evolve. Main sequence stars, for instance, swell into red giants. Imagine a star, once tranquil and stable, beginning a dramatic transformation. As the hydrogen fuel at its core depletes, it starts to contract under the relentless pull of gravity. But this contraction triggers a reaction, causing the star's outer layers to expand exponentially, growing many times its original size. This, ladies and gentlemen, marks the birth of a red giant. The physical changes are not limited to size alone. The star's surface temperature drops and its color shifts from the familiar white yellow to a deep fiery red, hence the name Red Giants. But don't be fooled by the cooler surface. Inside, the core is a cauldron heating up to incredible temperatures. Now you may ask what's causing these dramatic changes? Well, it's all about the nuclear processes at play. As the hydrogen fuel in the core depletes, the star begins to fuse helium. This new process generates a lot more heat, causing the outer layers to swell and the star to grow in size. However, the energy produced is spread over a larger surface area, which results in a lower surface temperature and gives the star its red appearance. But what happens next? Well, that's where things get really interesting. The fate of these red giants is not set in stone. It all depends on their mass. Stars with a lower mass, similar to our Sun, will shed their outer layers and leave behind a dense, hot core called a white dwarf. On the other hand, stars with a higher mass will undergo a more dramatic transformation. They continue to fuse heavier elements until they reach iron. At this point, the star can't generate enough heat to support its own weight and it collapses, triggering a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. The fate of these red giants depends on their mass. Some may become white dwarfs while others meet a more explosive end. In the realm of stars, size matters. Meet the supergiants, the universe's most massive stars. These celestial giants are truly some of the most awe-inspiring objects in the cosmos. Their sheer size and luminosity put them in a class of their own, dwarfing our own sun in both size and brightness. Supergiants are known for their striking characteristics. These stellar behemoths can be thousands of times larger than our sun and millions of times brighter. They burn with an intense heat their cores reaching temperatures unthinkable to the human mind. With such extreme conditions, it's no surprise that these stars live fast and die young. Compared to other star types, supergiants have relatively short lifespans. While our Sun, a main sequence star, can shine for billions of years, supergiants burn through their fuel at a much more rapid pace, living for only a few million years. It's a case of living fast and dying young on a cosmic scale, a testament to the tremendous energy these stars possess. But it's not just the size and lifespan of supergiants that make them fascinating, it's also their spectacular end as supernovae. When a supergiant exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support its own weight. The star collapses under its own gravity, triggering a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. This explosion can outshine an entire galaxy, briefly illuminating the universe with an intense burst of light. This isn't the end of the story, though. The remnants of a supernova can form a neutron star, or, if the original star was massive enough, a black hole. These dense objects are the final testament to the former supergiant, extraordinary reminders of the star's once mighty presence. The death of a supergiant is a cosmic spectacle, often resulting in either a neutron star or a black hole. These events are not just visually stunning, they are also fundamental to the life cycle of the universe, seeding the cosmos with the elements necessary for new stars, planets, and potentially life itself. So, in a way, we owe our existence to these massive stars and their dramatic ends. The death of a star is not an end, but a transformation into a new cosmic entity. As we travel further along the star's journey, we arrive at the final stages of stellar evolution. Here we encounter the fascinating entities known as white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Each of these celestial bodies tells a unique tale of stellar transformation. 
characterized by intriguing properties and profound implications for our understanding of the universe. First, let's talk about the white dwarfs. These are the remnants left behind after a star has exhausted its nuclear fuel and shed its outer layers. They are incredibly dense and hot when they are born, but over billions of years they cool down and fade away. But don't let their small size fool you. A white dwarf packs the mass of our sun into a space no larger than Earth. Imagine squeezing an elephant into a matchbox. That's the kind of density we're talking about. Next, we have neutron stars. These are the cores left behind after a supernova explosion. They are even denser than white dwarfs. A neutron star is so dense that a teaspoonful would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. They spin at incredible speeds, some as fast as several hundred times per second, and emit beams of radiation from their magnetic poles. It's like a cosmic lighthouse spinning in the dark expanse of space. Finally, we come to the most mysterious and intriguing of all, the black holes. Born from the death of very massive stars, black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are the ultimate cosmic vacuum cleaners, devouring anything that ventures too close. But fear not. Black holes are not wandering around the universe looking for planets to swallow. They play a vital role in the formation and evolution of galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. Each of these entities, the white dwarf, the neutron star, and the black hole, is a testament to the transformative power of the universe. They embody the cosmic cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, reminding us that even in death, stars continue to contribute to the grand cosmic symphony. The life cycle of stars is a testament to the universe's constant evolution from birth to death and beyond. Our journey through the cosmos brings us to the end of our exploration of the types of stars. The universe in its vastness presents a symphony of celestial bodies, each playing a unique note in the grand composition of existence. From the birth of protostars, where molecular clouds collapse to form the seeds of future stars, to the long-lived red dwarfs, the most common stars in our universe, each stage of stellar evolution is marked by a unique wonder. Red dwarfs, despite their small size, shine persistently for billions of years, a testament to their tenacity and endurance. Then we have the red giants, main sequence stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel, swelling to sizes that dwarf our sun. Their evolution is a powerful reminder of the transient nature of existence, a phase that precedes the birth of white dwarfs or the explosive supernovae. Supergiants, the colossal entities of the stellar world, live fast and die young, ending their short lives in spectacular supernova. Their demise, however, can give birth to neutron stars or black holes, the enigmatic and intriguing final stages of high-mass stars. Each type of star, in its own way, adds to the intricate tapestry of the universe. The universe is a grand orchestra with each star contributing to the cosmic symphony in its own unique way. From the smallest red dwarf to the most massive black hole, every celestial body plays a vital role in the grand scheme of the cosmos. As we've journeyed through the life cycles of these stars, we've had the privilege of witnessing the beauty and complexity of existence on a cosmic scale. Thank you for embarking on this cosmic journey. If you enjoyed this exploration of the universe's luminous celestial bodies, please subscribe for more videos.